Hello. Today I'm proud to launch a new project at the Delta Regional Authority, a regional podcast about the leaders, businesses, and organizations that are doubling down on the Delta. Every other week or so, I will chat with the innovators, the entrepreneurs, the small business owners, economic and community development practitioners, workforce practitioners, and the political and community leaders who are moving our part of the country forward. We will learn about the projects they are working on and the businesses that they are growing. We will hear about the challenges that they are facing and discuss the solutions that together with our hard work will help us continue to create jobs, build communities, and improve lives for Delta families and the businesses that are in our backyard. I'm excited to get this going, and I encourage you to send us your suggestions for podcast topics and guests on future sessions. And now let's bring on our experts for today. I'm proud to welcome our first guest and entrepreneur, Mississippi's own Sheena Allen, the founder of InstaFunds. Sheena's app has grown from about 50 downloads to more than 30,000 monthly users. It's an incredible success story from our region because Sheena herself is an incredible success story. Sheena, welcome. For our listeners who have not uh, used InstaFund, tell them a little bit about uh, what it is. InstaFund is a checkbook app. Uh, It was an app that I started back when I was actually attending the University of Southern Miss. Uh, I was a senior at the time, and I went to Walmart, and I had this crazy idea for an, an app because I had this long receipt. And so I figured, I want to ask where I can keep up my money and my receipts all in one. And that's how InstaFunds came about. So with the app, you can keep up with various accounts from, you know, different bank accounts because, of course, you have your online banking. So some people use the online banking um, app for their particular bank. But with this app, you can keep up with all of your accounts in one, regardless if they're from one bank or various banks or with credit cards and uh, personal bank accounts. So it's all in one, and it's able to a lot of people with your money much, much easier and take out and add transactions, transactions much, much quicker. So what has been your greatest obstacle to creating your app and to trying to grow your uh, your opportunity here? The area is still growing as far as tech is concerned. You know, we're not a Silicon Valley. We're not right. a New York City. We're not an Austin, Texas. So we're still building. So it's not. it wasn't easy finding somebody that was a technical co-founder or someone who had grown this really big tech company that I could go to and say, hey, can you mentor me because I want to start a tech company. Or, you know, of course, there's a lot of people in finances, but I was combining finances and tech. So putting those two together and finding somebody um, in the area who could help me was probably my biggest obstacle. Well, what advice, given that experience now, Sheena, would you give to other entrepreneurs that are trying to follow in your footsteps? What I what I had to do at the time um, was after I got over a million downloads, I was, it was everything was still kind of slow for me, and I actually I left. I actually went to Austin, Texas, and then I came back because my goal in the end was to say, I'm from Mississippi. I want to make this work in Mississippi. Um, cause so many people do leave and take their talent other places. My goal was to try to make it work here in Mississippi. So my thing is I'll reach out to people. There are more mentors in the area now. Uh, the DRA is doing a great job of trying to keep talent in the Delta area. So reach out. Uh, the network is, is growing. You have Innovative Mississippi and Jackson. Their sort of weekend that they're doing now in various areas of the Delta. So go to the, go to those things, network. Um, do your research, learn, participate, and you'll, you'll, you're going to find that person. It's not easy because <laughs> we're still building, but it's definitely networking. Well, I, I think we'll certainly agree with you there. It's not easy being an entrepreneur, and I'm glad you're in Mississippi. I'm glad you're in the Delta, and I'm glad you're moving forward on, on your dream. And, and speaking about that, so what's next for Sheena? What's, uh, where, you, where, where are you going from here? No, like I said, we're now, the company itself, we're over 2 million downloads. We're steady building. The brand is building. But, you know, like Mississippi State has a place where they actually offer a class for mobile applications. And there's young kids who want to get into not just apps, but websites and other things in technology. So my goal is to bring what I've learned from doing co-work at Capital Factor in Austin, Texas, and the things I've learned in Silicon Valley, bring it back to Mississippi with my company and allow those kids from Mississippi State to come back home and be able to work with a mobile app company in the state or be able to mentor people in the actual um, central Mississippi area or the Delta regional area. So 
building from what I've learned to help others. Well, Sheena, I think that sounds awesome, and, and we want you to be successful. You are a great example of the entrepreneurship uh, spirit in the Delta region and the kind of talent, and we don't want you to have to go to Austin or Nashville or other places. We want you to come back to the region, which is why the Delta Regional Authority has been so focused on helping to create the ecosystem for entrepreneurship and our small businesses right here in the region. Sheena, thank you so much for being with us today and sharing about the Insta funds and, and sharing with us your goals, and we can't wait to continue to, to help you reach that goal. You can learn more about InstaFund at Sheena's website, that's SheenaAllenApp.com, that's SheenaAllenApp.com, and you can follow Sheena on Twitter at SheenaAllenApp. Sheena, again, thank you very much. Thank you. Our next guest is the co-founder and CEO of the Ideal Village, Tim Williamson. Ideal Village is one of our strongest partners in boosting the entrepreneurship in the region and our lead partner and, and quite frankly, our supporter in the Delta Entrepreneurship Network, which we launched earlier this year. Tim, thank you very much for the strong partnership with DRA, and welcome to our podcast. Mr. Chairman, always good to be with you. Thanks for including me. Tim, tell us a little bit about how the Ideal Village supports entrepreneurs and the services that it provides to the New Orleans Metro entrepreneurs. So, so the Ida Village really does three core uh, efforts. Uh, one is we provide direct services to uh, New Orleans-based entrepreneurs through different types of programs. We have uh, educational workshops all throughout the year that are free and open to the public, but it teaches entrepreneurs or anybody in the community about how to start a business, uh, about really encouraging folks to go into the entrepreneurial uh, uh, journey, this tool to help you do that. We also provide one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions uh, where they actually can have two-hour sessions with local leaders and entrepreneurs and investors to help them refine a key element of their business. And then we also have accelerator programs, 11-week programs that are, are really intense consulting programs that help entrepreneurs uh, really dive down deep into their business. Uh, we surround them with coaches and mentors and professionals and lawyers and accountants. And then ultimately, you help these uh, another group uh, raise money. Where it's about to access the capital, where we uh, provide access to local, and national, private investors, help them in their funding elements. Uh, the second thing we do is we convene the New Orleans ecosystem. Uh, the Ida Village was founded over 15 years ago uh, in a city that had very limited resources for entrepreneurs. In the last 15 years, we have developed partnerships uh, with local nonprofits, with the governments, with universities, also with national partnerships. So we convene the ecosystem at New Orleans Entrepreneur Week each March. This will be the seventh week. And we'll have over 10,000 people, 40 different partners, supporting over 100 different entrepreneurs and bringing New Orleans together to support entrepreneurship. The third thing we do is we, we celebrate the success. We uh, uh, promote the New Orleans ecosystem as well as uh, we're, in a, in a way, as the PR agency for the local entrepreneurial community and help elevate the great successes like Sheena and others, help other people know the great stories coming out of New Orleans. Well, that's awesome. And I know you all have been doing some phenomenal work in the 13 years. In fact, uh, you all have taught us a lot at the Delta Regional Authority. And me personally, Tim, and what you all have accomplished is really amazing. And I, and I want to say thank you for all the hard work and getting us to understand that entrepreneurship can be a part of an economic development strategy, and you can get as much out of it as you put into it. So with that in mind, over the last 13 years, you've seen – a lot of different challenges and opportunities. What do you see as the greatest challenges now and the greatest opportunities moving forward for our entrepreneurs in the region? Well, once again, I think on, on, on the, the positive thing, I think that because of technology and because of the way the world has changed uh, over the last 15 years, that you can be anywhere in the world and start a company. Um, so the good news is, is that entrepreneurs can be anywhere in the country and have access to the resources locally and globally. So the first thing is I see that um, uh, investors and corporations and individuals are looking for the new places of entrepreneurship, the top heads of entrepreneurship, and seeking out new markets. There are great entrepreneurs all around the world that might not have been in those hubs. So the first thing is I think that uh, is spotlighting and identifying those entrepreneurs around the country, and specifically in our efforts, 
who are those great entrepreneurs that we can elevate to the national resources of funding and support? The challenges on that side will be scale. And what I mean by that is in the cities that might not have the deep resources, what happens when the entrepreneur gets started and they raise the money and they need the professionals, the lawyers, the accountants, the bankers, the, the management to scale businesses? And that's where communities really need to connect themselves and really need to organize because as companies start to succeed, that's where the real challenges come in. When they're hiring new people, when they have to get lawyers or raise money and, or make acquisitions. So there's one thing about starting businesses and creating supportive communities to support and start up businesses. The second thing is, what happens if it works? I think that's what we're looking to do is build relationships around the southern region to build a network. So, Tim, how would you translate that into some advice for our entrepreneurs? What, what would be some of the strongest points you would give them, like Ashina that we just heard from? Well, my, my first uh, uh, bit of advice is, is know what you're good at and also know what you're bad at and surround yourself with people who are great and what you're bad at. So it's about trying to build networks of relationships with experts or, or expert, experts in things you're not successful in. Um, the second thing is, I, I would say, is, is, um, is try to build a, a, a business uh, that ultimately makes your customers happy. Um, and I see people trying to make money and all these great, fancy, cool ideas, but ultimately the, the job of a successful business is providing value to your customers. So make sure before you try to scale that you really have refined in, in delivering value to, you, to your customers or your products. Um, thirdly, manage the growth. Um, I've seen companies grow really quickly, really fast, but that can be hard to, to, to really sustain. So um, Make sure you're building a solid foundation in the beginning, and that's with back to the lawyers, accountants, and professionals, and, and staffing, so that when you're ready to scale, you got the right team in place. But entrepreneurship's a journey. You know, it is not a, a, a one-year thing, a two-year thing. You really got to be in the mindset to go on this journey um, and make sure you surround yourself with a great network along the way. Talking about uh, a journey, let's let's switch gears and talk about the journey that we're have been walk, walking on as it relates to our partnership uh, with Idea Village. We've partnered with you to connect 31 of our network fellows to the New Orleans Entrepreneur Week. What will these entrepreneurs and organizations uh, gain in some of the insights by participating uh, in this exciting event next week? <laughs> well, we're really excited to welcome your, your team in. But uh, this will be the seventh New Orleans Entrepreneur Week, March 20th to 27th. Uh, we'll have over 100 different events throughout the week that will directly be for educating entrepreneurs uh, and their teams around different facets of social media or raising money or financial management. Second thing they're going to do is, is meet uh, the net, a local and national network of folks who are into supporting entrepreneurs. So they're going to see, a, you know, not only locals but also folks from Google and Salesforce and and other national corporations like UPS, you know, the national networks of resources that they can build their networks with. Thirdly, they're going to see some national investors. We have over 30 national investors from General Atlantic to Kleiner Perkins uh, to Battery to Revolution, some of the top-tier venture capitalists who will be right here in New Orleans meeting with these companies. So the power of, you don't have to fly to San Francisco, New York, they're flying here. So they'll be able to present and, and, and show their their, their their venture to investors directly here. But thirdly, I, I mean, lastly, I would say is, you know, they hopefully will see a city that has started to organize itself around supporting entrepreneurship, and we're hoping that this spreads back to where they're from. So we've worked, been working for over 15 years to build a supportive ecosystem, but hopefully we can share some best practices or inspire communities to do this in their own hometown, because we would love to come out of this and it's raising a flag that the South is one of the best places for entrepreneurship. And there are these entrepreneurial pockets all around the South and the Delta region. So we hope to inspire some of your community leaders to start their own entrepreneur weeks in their communities. We do that, then we start to build some critical mass. Well, we are looking forward to that. And I tell you, we really appreciate the partnership. And it will be great. It will be a great experience for entrepreneurs. And when you say, and I've heard you say a long time, that you believe that entrepreneurship is an agent of change, and we agree with you, and we hope that 
our entrepreneurs and our fellows on the support side feel that way and take it back to the region and really plant some of those seeds that we've been talking about. Tim, thank you very much uh, for being a, a part of this first podcast. You can learn more about the Idea Village at ideavillage.org or follow them on Twitter at Idea Village. And keep up with all the events of the New Orleans Entrepreneur Week by following them with hashtag NOEW2015. That's our show for this week. I want to thank Sheena and Tim again for joining us. One quick thing before we sign off. Last week, we announced the winners of the Delta Regional Authority Delta Challenge and the entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship support organizations, the ones that Tim and I were just talking about. These innovators are heading to New Orleans next week for New Orleans Entrepreneur Week, where they will be meeting with investors and pitching their ideas that Tim just described to you. I want to personally thank Idea Village again for the partnership and wish all of our fellows that are going to New Orleans all the best of luck. To learn more about their work or other investments we're making into our region and its future, please visit www.dra.gov. Until we see you again, thank you very much.